Good morning and welcome to a Wednesday short act of worship as we gather as the, the scattered community still stuck in, in lockdown and looking at our weather. Uh, some of us might even be stuck in the snowdrift, although it is very picturesque. Uh, but we welcome you as we gather together to hear God's word, to think about it, what does it mean for us, and to, to sing his praise. We begin by lighting three candles reminding us of God our maker, of the Son, and of the Spirit. We light a light in the name of the maker, who lit the world and breathed the breath of life into us. We light a light in the name of the Son, who saved the world and stretched out his hand in love to us. We will light a light in the name of the Spirit, who encompasses the world and blesses our souls with the earth. We will light three lights for the Trinity of love. God above us, God beside us, God beneath us, the beginning, the end, the everlasting one. Gather us in, the lost and the lonely, the broken and breaking, the tired and aching, the young and the old, the stranger and the friend. Forgive us and heal us. Strengthen and renew us, for we are one family with Christ Jesus as our head. I flagged up First Peter chapter 1 verse 3 as a, a verse for us to journey with uh, through this year, for it speaks of a living hope. Praise be to the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I didn't know this song existed until uh, my sister-in-law, uh, Moira, uh, and her friend Esther introduced it to, to us 
as part of their sung worship at home, the song Living Hope. How great the chasm that lay between us, how high the mountain I could not climb. In desperation, I turned to heaven and spoke your name into the night. Then through the
couple of thanks to uh, Esther and Moira. Esther's a, a wonderful guitarist and uh, writes some of her own material. Uh, and of course, we'd love for them to come and move to Scotland and come and support us <laughs> in the work we do here. Uh, Moira likes her drums uh, and she also plays bass guitar. They're lovely. Anyway, let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for the living hope you give us, that light in the darkness, calling us to turn and to follow you. By your Spirit, guide us as we hear your word afresh. Amen. Can we go to Jackie? A reading from Mark chapter 1. After John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come, he said. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. As Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. When he had gone a little further, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John in a boat, preparing their nets. Without delay, he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men, and followed him. It was wonderful uh, on Sunday uh, to gather uh, and to have Bishop join. Uh, with us and um, I don't know about you but for me it, it, there was that lifting of, of my spirit through the servant through all the two place it was just like a uh, a blessing uh, to, to, to have been part of that and, uh, and I think we all uh, love the little joke because Bishop John put his uh, piece of paper through and Jackie received her license Bishop John reminded us um, about the call of Philip and Nathaniel. And similarly, um, this week's gospel reading looks about Jesus calling uh, those first disciples. Bishop John reminded us that God, that Jesus sees us even under our fig trees when we're stuck in our houses, Jesus sees us, and more importantly, Jesus knows us. And when he was commenting that when someone knows us, it, it changes our relationship, it deepens the relationship between people. To know that Jesus knows us and sees us. And then there's that challenge about how do we then respond to the one who sees us and knows us and calls us to follow. So similarly, the theme for this week still focuses on calling, on calling us, calling everyone to turn and to follow. Jesus, after being baptised by John, as we know, went into the desert, a time of testing and preparing for his public ministry. And as he comes out of the desert region, he enters into Galilee. Galilee is a very arable area. It's kind of the breadbasket of, of, of Israel. And at that time, uh, would have produced much crops and, and, and good food for the surrounding area. 
And into that city, Jesus comes with his good news. The time has come, he says. It's the right time. God does things in his time. And we often get frustrated. But the time has come, Jesus says. The kingdom of God has come near. It's time to repent and believe the good news. To repent, uh, in many ways, is a, a Roman Latin word, which means to stop and to turn around. If you think of a, a Roman legion marching up the straight roads, and then the call goes out, repent! And the brigade comes to a halt and turns around and marches back the way it was going. The way backwards, turning back. To repent means, firstly, to stop. Stop facing the wrong way. Stop looking towards the wrong things to satisfy us, our greed, our desires. Stop looking at these things and longing lustfully after things that will not satisfy us. To stop walking towards destruction and death. To stop following the wrong leaders and the wrong role models. To stop going our own way. And then to turn, to turn and face God, to turn back to God, to turn and look for him in the everyday, to turn and to know that he's called you, that he forgives you, to turn and walk in his ways, for he loves you and guides you in the ways of life. And Jesus calls, come. Come and follow me. Journey with Jesus and learn from him. For this is what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Even today, each of us, in our own way, should hear that call afresh to repent, to turn, to believe the good news that we are known, that we are loved. We are not Christians just because we are baptised or confirmed or even attend our church services. It would be like saying you were a, a hamburger just because you went to McDonald's. We are Christians when we turn and follow Christ daily in our lives. We're not just to be Sunday servants. We are to be daily disciples, turning to stand before our Lord, turning to seek him and to know him, turning to follow him, to love him, to serve him and make him known. And in this way, he takes us, the ordinary people. He doesn't call us to be perfect yet. He calls us to be faithful. He calls us to take what we're good at, like the fishers and the fishermen becoming fishers of men. We take our skills, our talents, and use them for God to call others to come and follow. Amen. It only takes a spark to get a fire growing. It's up to us to pass that love on. takes
takes a spark to get a fire going and soon all those around will warm up to its glowing that's how it is with god's love once you've experienced it you spread his love to everyone you want to pass it on what a wondrous time in spring when all the trees are budding the birds begin to sing the flowers start their blooming that's how it is with God's love once you've experienced it you want to sing it's fresh like spring you want to pass it on that I found you can depend on him it matters not where you're bound I'll shout it from the mountaintop I want the world to know the Lord above has shown me love I want to pass it on That's how it is with God's love Once you've experienced it You spread His love to everyone You want to pass it on Well, let us come and offer our prayers for today on this day that we remember the change of presidency in America, praying that they would indeed know hope and a new life and a new and fresh beginning. Lord God, we thank you for your love and your call to us to follow you be people of justice, of peace and mercy and love. And we pray for America at this time. For Joe Biden and his presidency and those who serve with him, that they would be people of peace, people of mercy, people of love, people who are longing to reconcile nations with nations, people with people. Lord, bring healing, bring a freshness to that country. Make them great through the compassion they could be, a guiding light to all nations. Lord, watch over them and lead them into new ways. And Lord, we pray for Donald Trump. Lord, he claims to be a child of you. He claims to be a Christ, Lord. Lord, by your Holy Spirit, work in his heart, his mind, in his life. 
Let me come to that point where he repents and truly knows you. He's the one who can heal and restore and forgive. Lord, we pray for America. We pray for its relationships with the wider world. We pray that this new presidency would bring new opportunities for peace, for collaboration, for the working together of all nations, especially at this time of pandemic. Lord, help nations to care for their people, but also to look out for other nations and other people who do not have the riches that we may have. We pray for the outrolling of all the different vaccines and we pray that they would be effective and that in this year we would see a return to a more normal life for all people everywhere. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. Lord, we thank you for that living hope that you give us. We pray for the people of St. Leonard's and St. Mary's, the church we, we serve in your name, and for the communities in which you've placed us, that indeed there would be that living hope. Bring us out of the, the darkness of the winter months. Bring more light into our lives that we would shine for you and pass it on. And so we pray for this year. Lord, for our concerns may be around finance and upkeep of our buildings. Lord, for concerns about our members, for the elderly and the frail, people like Mary Foreman and Jane Forsyth and for others out there in our nursing homes or being cared for at home, may they know living hope in these days. We pray too with thanksgiving for the signs of new life. We thank you for Michelle and Jane for Judy Jessamine's daughter and son-in-law as they make public the announcement of the fact that she is pregnant. And we pray a blessing upon them and upon that child. May that living hope indeed bring a freshness and a newness to them. We pray too for Sarah and Kevin, Annette and Alan Keeler's daughter, who also is, is making it public that she now too is pregnant. And we thank you for these new signs of life and growth. We bless all those who are expected at this time. Bring them through this time of pregnancy into birth and may their children grow to be a blessing and a delight to them and to the communities where they live. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we continue to pray for those in our, our family and friends and the church family who mourn and grieve at this time. We continue to pray for Margaret. Lord, we thank you for yesterday's funeral service, for the, the small gathering and for those who gathered online. Lord, may they be comforted. We pray for Margaret. You will give her the strength and the resolve to face each day. And time restore to her joy and life and love. And help her in the decisions for the future and in the care for our own mother at this time. We pray too for Chris for Mike and Lizzie's 
rather than more and you would just load the less that family at this time as they mourn and make preparations for the funeral to come. May they be able to travel safely. Lord hears, Lord graciously hears. Lord, we pray for Marcel and for Betty. Lord, we pray that they would both be feeling well and be restored in health. We pray for Betty as she continues to undergo investigations and treatment at St John's today. Lord, we thank you for them. We thank you for the joy that they, they bring us when they join us in our worship. We thank you for all who gather with us at this time. Lord, help us to continue to be an encouragement to those in our church family and those in the wider community. May we bring them and introduce them to that living hope that we have in you. And so, Lord, we thank you again for Bishop John, for his ministry amongst us with all the different and difficult decisions that he and our diocese need to be aware of and make. We pray for wisdom and direction. We pray you would refresh him and encourage him. And Lord, we thank you for his response and his delight to have been with us. And we pray that that indeed would be a, a fresh spark within him to glow with love for his people in your name. And we pray for the ministry team, for the pastoral groups, for all our different groups in the church. Bring new life to us, bring living hope in Jesus' name. Amen. A blessing. May your life in this world be a happy one. May the sun be warm and may the skies be blue to make storm that comes your way. Clear the air for a brighter day. May the saints and our Saviour watch over you. Go with the blessing of God, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A song of blessing. May the sun be warm and may the skies be blue In may each storm that comes your way Clear the air for a brighter day May the saints and Savior watch over you As you make your way through the soul word of ours As you see the beauty of the morning dew As you smell those summer flowers As you pass away the hours May the saints and Savior watch over you And may your life in this world be a happy one May the sun be warm and may the skies be blue and may the storm that comes your way Clear the air for a brighter day May the saints and Savior watch over you
As you spend your time with your friends and your family As you feel the warmth and love they have for you As you see the wars and hate that others radiate May the saints and Savior watch over you And may your life in this world be a happy one May the sun be warm and may, may, may the skies, skies be blue And may each storm that comes your way Clear the air for a brighter day May the saints and Savior watch over you So go in peace to love and follow the Lord who calls you, who knows you. Come and follow him. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. And goodbye to all those on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, do subscribe, like, and leave us a, a little note to see you've been watching along. Uh, it's been lovely to, to be with you again this day. The Lord bless you. Bye.